when my sister and I started crocheting a coral reef, we had actually originally been inspired by mathematics. All of the frilly and crenellated structures that you see in coral reef organisms are actually biological manifestations of a kind of geometry called hyperbolic geometry. And it turns out that the best way that for humans to make models of hyperbolic geometry is with crochet. The project is called the Hyperbolic Crochet Coral Reef. And part of our inspiration to do this was that around this time, which was 2005, scientists were understanding that in fact coral reefs all over the world were being devastated due to the effects of global warming. And we thought that we could crochet a coral reef to do something as a collective art project that would be very beautiful using a handicraft that we loved, but also as a way to teach people about mathematics and also to engage people with the most important environmental issue of our time, which is global warming. When Christine and I sat down to begin this project, we thought maybe a couple of dozen people would want to join us in it. Five years later, there have been thousands of people all over the world who have been involved in constructing the local coral reefs. These women, many of whom would never be taken on board by art galleries, but who have these amazing skills, and both technical skills, but also they are artistically brilliant, have through this project been given a voice. And it is the part of the project that I feel most proud of. There's one part of it that we call our bleached reef, and it's meant to be an invocation of bleached coral. Bleaching is what happens to corals when they get stressed by things like pollutants or rising seawater temperatures. We have another part of the reef which we call our toxic reef, which is all made out of plastic and plastic trash. And that was a direct response to the fact that there are these huge islands of floating gar plastic garbage now in all over the world, but the biggest one is in the North Pacific Ocean, it's called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. We committed ourselves, Christine and I, when we begun that project, uh, doing the Toxic Reef, to keep all of our plastic trash. Once you start keeping your trash, you become deeply aware of how much you use and we've radically cut down. So I think the plastic part of the project really has the power to get people to do something here and now, which is focus on how much plastic trash you use and try to cut it down. But the rest of it is like a, any art project. It can draw people's attention to the idea that coral reefs are dying out. Will that actually make people change? I, I think no one thing makes people change, but I do think this project serves as a beautiful metaphor for what could be achieved if we all did change.